Hey guys, welcome back. Today we're checking out Parish Brewing Company's Ghost in the Machine. So, Ghost in the Machine, does this have anything to do with uh, Arthur C. Clarke's Odyssey 2 book? No, I don't think so, no. Hmm. Because there is a chapter in Arthur C. Clarke's book where he was talking about the separation between the body and mind and how like the consciousness takes over in computer form once the body dies. Some crap like that. It's pretty creepy. I mean, we're getting there, I feel like. Yeah. The world of AI is not too far away. I think it's already here. So Ghost in the Machine, Parish Brewing Company. Let's read this, see what it says. Welcome to the future. Our collective human consciousness, or ghost in the machine, I don't know, has gained a tolerance for hops beyond what mankind has ever known before. Ooh. <laughs> <laughs> this, double, uh, this double India Pale Ale is the necessary outcome. Broussard, Louisiana, once again. So it's another parish beer. Yeah, we've done a few of these. This is it IPA? Yeah, it's a double IPA, and it's, uh, it got 99 on Beer Advocates. Review so it's, pretty high. it has um, a good following of people that really enjoy this beer. Okay, is this a staple beer for them? Is this I something believe, that they yeah. brew? Okay. I believe this is a staple beer for Parish, and I think they also release limited versions of the double dry hopped version of this beer. Oh, okay. This beer is a hundred IBU though. Yeah. Or a hundred plus. hundred plus. So okay, let's let's talk about IBUs for a second. This is the. International bittering unit, it's perceived bitterness. Um, what that means to me versus what it means to you is a little bit different because I taste bitterness differently than you do. We all know that. Mm -hmm. um, I can handle a more bitter beer generally better than you can. You don't like, you don't like bitterness on the level that I like it. Mm -hmm. um, but again, like, I, I don't know. I don't understand the IBU scale because because of that. Like it's not a set standard that everybody tastes the same on. Right, and then so, past a certain point, your taste buds can't even taste it. So really... Yeah, past a, 100, I think, yeah. is what they say. But I don't know. But we'll, we'll dive in and we'll see. So right off the bat, we're looking at a hazy beer. Uh, typical. Nice head. Creamy, foamy. Hardly Maybe. any. <laughs> I have a little bit, but I'm sure that if I had the whole pint of it. If we poured it more aggressively, I'm yeah. sure it would, it would make something, but we, we're delicate. It's hoppy. Hoppy. It smells hoppy. Getting all the citrus aromas, pineapple, grapefruit. A lot of sort of bright fruit notes in this one. It matches with the color. Definitely hops right on the palate right there and punching you in the face. It's got that sort of like dank uh, punch to it. You know what I mean? Yeah. All right, well, cheers. cheers. Let's dive right in, see what this one's all about. <laughs> so like, <laughs> I don't think it's that bitter. Like I said, I'm not tasting a huge amount of bitterness. This, if this really does have 100 plus IBUs, this is insanely smooth because I can't. It's cre It's almost creamy yeah. too. Yeah, it's got that sort of, I'm not gonna say oaty, but it's like slightly, you know, it's thicker. Yeah. It's thicker than normal for sure. Maybe um, it's oaty. Definitely has a lot of that fruit character coming out and that could be because of the and it's probably a massive amount of hops that they're adding to this thing. I mean, the whole the dude's skull head is all hops. The, the whole top He's of his face. He's exploding with hops. <laughs> is that a laser coming out of his head? Maybe. Is that just like yeah, it's it's a laser that's shooting through his freaking skull <laughs> and blowing out hops on the other end. Like that's his exit intense. wound is all hops. That badass can art, man. But yeah, this uh, this is it's it's extremely potent in your face IPA. Probably one of the more uh, forceful IPAs I've had in a long time. I feel like this may have started kind of like the trend in what we now consider a double IPA, or what we taste in a double IPA. That's what we now see in almost every double IPA. It's because of this beer. So yeah, not much else to really say about it. It's just a really dense, kind of tropical, punchy, bitter, heavier kind of IPA. It's just a, it's just a, it's just a bomb. It's 
good. I'm not sure how how long this beer has been out with Parrish, but um, it's a pretty sought after one, though, right? Yeah. So I mean, people flock. To I this. see why people like it, but yeah. I've also had other Dapo IPAs that are quite good, just like this. Mm. Yeah, I don't think I've ever had one that's like this uh, forceful, I guess. Like this says it all right here. I'm just cranking good beer out. No wonder they're so hyped. The hype is real with these yeah. guys. The hype is totally real. All right, guys, thanks so much for tuning in and watching the video. If you're interested in more craft beer reviews or craft beer event coverage, be sure to subscribe and check our Facebook, Instagram, and Patreon accounts linked in the description down below. Until next time, stay crafty. Cheers. Cheers.